Good morning everyone. Is anyone there? I'm hoping someone's there. Is anyone there? Hello, hello, hello. Right, let's see. Let's refresh this page. Let's see. Let's see if I'm live on the page. Morning, Sam. Let's turn the volume down. Oh, that's up. How are you, Sam? I've got a runny nose. That's not great, is it? It's not a good start. Why can't I see anything? Right, let's go to the news feed a minute. Okay. Right, let's go to my page. Morning, Kit. How are you all? Okay. Page is not loading properly. Morning, Jean. Going to have trouble seeing any comments. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Right, let's um, do it that way. I'm sulking here a minute. Oh, Sam, I like your card this morning, darling. Right, let's go to there. Let's go into there. Oh, hang on a minute. Don't you just love it when Facebook really doesn't play properly? Ali, good morning, good morning, good morning. Right, okay, I think I'm going to have problems seeing um, everybody's... Um, everybody's comments this morning because Facebook is not letting me which is a real pain in the what's it let's come out of there a minute let's do it this way shall we go to that oh I've got messages and messages and messages and messages Let's go that way. We'll get there in a minute, I promise. Morning, Diana. Morning, Naomi. All right, let's grab my ink, because I want that one and that one. Okay. Right, so how is everybody this morning? Are we all good? I need a block. Is everybody happy? Yes, that's good. Oh, yes, look, I'm there. I am there. Well, hey, if you can't do it one way, you can do it another, can't you? Right, that's that one. And I like that one. That's the one I'm going to use. Okay, if I do it at all. Right, okay. So, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everyone? Are we all happy? That's good. Right, Let's see if I can make that larger. Oh, that's good. Yes, I can see. We are here. Morning, Paulie. Morning, Jean. Morning, every morning, everybody. I've got a, I've got a doozy of a last card for us today. Hang on, let's bring my stall up a bit, then you can see me. It's awesome, absolutely awesome. The card I've got. We need to catch up. Yes, we need to talk. Invites near me, and I need to come to your house so you can cook for me. Ali, you're coughing a lot. Really. That's not good at all. Okay, yeah, Naomi, definitely. I need to come to your house and you need to, to cook for me because, oh my God, what you're cooking is amazing. Right, morning, Shirley. Right, this card. So I promised you this was going to be the last in the peony season. Um, so I've done a whole week of peonies. You requested one more, so I'm doing one more. Oh, and have I ever found a card for you guys? Um, and I have proper instructions. Well, I have instructions. I don't say they're proper. You know, as good as my instructions get, but hey, dungarees are annoying me because they keep falling off. Right, okay, so I've got all the bits and pieces that I need. I've got my, I've got everything. Right, so I'm going to turn the screen down. I'm just going to shuffle my desk about a bit because I've um, got written bits. So to give you measurements and, um, and, and, and stuff. So I just need to shuffle 
my desk about if you could see my desk at the moment i've got so many projects for so many different people it's unbelievable right we'll need the ribbon in a minute so i'll pop that to one side right okay so i'm going to turn you down um you're going to see a load of debris on my desk okay hang on so let's turn you down but it's never the easiest bit to do. Do you want to go that way? Right, okay. Are you all feeling seasick yet? Hang on, let's move that over a bit. Then we can move that over a bit. Right, are you feeling seasick? I would be. Oh, stool's gone up, not down. Right, so if I go that way... Ooh, petal pink. Who said petal pink? Ali, it's Ali Palmer's favourite colour, Tracy. You know that. I have to work in petal pink, especially for Ali Palmer, because she loves it. Is that Ali's favourite colour? Yes, Kit, you know it's Ali's favourite colour. You know she loves this one the most. It's her most favouritest colour. <laughs> yeah, it's not peach. It's petal pink, OK? When they look in the catalogue, it's petal pink. Right, OK, as you can tell... A lot of you lot know each other. Ali, don't be sick. Right, okay, so yes, we are working in petal pink. So this morning, we're working with um, the stitched rectangle framelits, okay? And we're working with these two, okay? And I'll give you the sizes of them in a minute. We're working with grey granite, petal pink, and we're working with the Peony DSP. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty um, lovely, lovely card. We are using the Peony stamp set and also a sentiment from the Forever Forever Fern stamp set. Both of those are my top, my top buys from the catalogue at the moment. Although I am now waiting for my Pampered Pets to arrive. Um, but yeah, those are my top two favourites. So who wants to see what we're doing? Would you like to see what we're doing? Okay, so this, let me, this is the front of your card. Can you see this? I hope you can. I really hope you can. I'm sorry, because I'm sniffing. I hate sniffing. See my card? Am I in shot? Let's bring it up a bit. I'm waiting to see if I'm in shot. It's gone up a bit. It's what a pain. Yes, right, there you go. Right, and when you open it, it does this. So it looks like that. Are we loving it? So it's called a floating accordion card. Okay. So when you close it, it's not very easy to do it on camera. You close it. Your ribbon, as you can see, moves all the way through. Okay. Your ribbon moves freely, but it can't come out. And then you tie it up. Okay. There you go. And somebody today, I'm going to do this with every card from now on. Somebody randomly in my comments... Um, I've had a message from the lady that received hers this week um, from the one I did on Thursday. Um, somebody is going to be receiving my card. So every time I do a card, somebody is going to be receiving one. Too complicated. No, Shirley, do you know what? It looks absolutely so complicated. But truthfully, it's quite an easy card to do. So I'm going to give you all the all the measurements to start with and I'm going to show you all the bits, okay? So let's move all this to one side and we're going to start with the, the bits that you need, okay? Let's move that out of the way. Right, so you're going to need, okay? And these bits are the bits that I've cut out and these with the rectangles and these are now scrap so you will have those over as scrap so i'm going to use those on other projects so you need first of all one piece that is eight inches by five and a half inches so eight inches across by five and a half inches okay and you need to score that at four inches 
okay? Very simple. I'll explain the rectangles in a minute. Then you need a piece that is eight inches. Oh, I've got a dirty mark on that. Look at that. That's when it's gone through the big shot, right? It will have to go onto my card that way. Oh, no, I might be able to hide it, actually. Eight inches by uh, eight and a half inches by five inches. Or five, yeah. Is that right? Right, let's just start again. Eight and a half by five and a half. And you score at half an inch and four and a half inches. But I am going to write all this up on my blog post, okay? So with these two bits, you then join them together. And I'm going to use, which one have I got here? I'm going to use the new stamp and seal, okay? So I'm just going to run it down here like this, okay? And I'm going to join. I've got black somewhere and I don't know where that's from. It's a brand new sheet of grid paper. Oh, I seem to have glue everywhere. I'm going to change my sheet of grid paper in a minute. And I'm just going to join that bit like that so I've got one long like four panelled frame now okay and you're going to fold this okay I've got to think about this now so it's going to go forwards backwards forwards okay like that so you've got as it's looking at you an M or is it standing up a W? Okay, so that's that bit. Let's pop that to one side. Turn my grid paper over because I don't like this bit of glue that is on my grid paper. Okay, I'm working on centimetres now. Morning, Amber, thank you. Right, the next pieces that you're going to need, okay, are three and a quarter down by nine inches across, okay? And on this one, you are gonna score at half an inch. Then you're gonna turn it round and you're going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. So you've got two panels the same size and then one that is slightly bigger. Okay, that's that one. Then on this one, you need it at three and a quarter down by eight and a half along, okay? And you are going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. And again, the measurements will be on my blog. Okay. I'm going to use my seal. Oh. I had this working perfectly earlier. I've done everything with it and I absolutely love it. Okay. Use my seal. And I'm going to join it. Making sure that the two largest panels are next to each other. These are your middle panels. Okay. So there's your join. So this is going to go mountain, valley. Or is it going to go? Hang on. It's going to go valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley. Okay. And this section. So you will have kind of that shape. And the middle one is longer. Okay. Which is deliberate because of the join. Okay. So that's those bits. All right. Then you need six, let me get all the bits, six panels, okay, like that, six identical panels, okay, which are three and three quarters wide by five and a quarter down, okay. One of these is for the front, one of these is for the back. You are then going to die cut using the largest rectangle, okay, of the two. And this one measures two and three quarters, okay, by four and one eighth, okay. And you're going to die cut four of those panels, okay. So two stay completely whole and you're going to die cut four. Okay, so I can pop that out the way. Then you are going to need, and I've done these in order, okay. You are going to need two 
okay? And these are the ends. They go right at either end of your card. And they are one and three quarters by three down. And you're going to need a piece of DSP for each one. So again, two. And you're, that is one and a half by two and three quarters. Okay? Then you're going to need, and I've pre-done this one so you can see what I'm part of what I'm doing. Okay? This is two and a half across by three down. And your DSP is two and a quarter by two and three quarters. Okay? And again, you need two of those. Then your middle ones, you need two and three quarters across by three down. And then two and a half across by two and three quarters. And you need two of those. Okay? So, and then the last bits, this is my front panel. Okay? So I have got... Um, three and a half by five inch piece of petal pink and I have got a three and a quarter by four and three quarters piece of DSP and this is the first bit that we're going to be working on so I'm going to pop everything else aside except for this one okay and I'm just gonna grab my pens I use two colors so I've got my blends and this is what we're going to do OK, I'm hoping I'm in shot and you can see this. So when I cut my DSP, I made sure that I looked at the pattern of what there was so that I could see. Excuse me, I just got to sort this out. It's nothing like a Miranda moment every time I come on, is there? But there you go. Um, right. So I looked at my pattern really carefully of where my flowers were going to be on this DSP because I want to colour them, okay? But I don't want to colour them all. So this is another way to do a spotlight technique without or without having to die cut your paper. So as you can see on this one, I've just spotlighted several areas to really make this pop, okay? Morning, Baz. So I'm going to take my lightest colour and I'm going to have, that's my main focal flower here, okay? Oh, or is it? Or do I want to do, oh, hang on. No, I'm definitely going with it that way. Right, I'm going to have this as my main, my main focal flower. And then I'm probably going to do those two. Oh, I see, I could do those. Oh, do you know, this? I found this really hard when I was doing it the other day. Right, so, okay, I am doing this, this, I might do these two and then these two and just leave the rest black. What do you reckon, two and two? Can we have a show of hearts if we think two and two or do I just do one and one? What do you reckon? Oh, you lot know help this morning. Okay. Right. Morning, Cheryl. Glad you're here. Right, I'm just going to go. I don't like using the brush ends, you know that. I much prefer the nib. Right, so I'm just going to go all around the edge of this piece. All around my edge bits. Right, is that one of that? Is that Does that belong to that? Yeah, I think that belongs to that one. Right, and that obviously belongs to it. I'm going to do that as a leaf. Right, so coming along there, because that's my guide. Um, I'm going to do that one. That one definitely is. That one. And I think up to there. Okay, so that's kind of that one. Okay, now I'm going to take the, the brush end and I'm just going to lightly might not doing the sepals in the middle or the the um, stamens in the middle because I want to do them a different color and I'm just going to cover everything in the light color because that's my base color okay not pressing very hard at all because I don't want to damage the brush Okay, so that's my base colour, all right? Yeah, that one is, I am doing that one, OK? 
Okay, bring that one in. Right, okay, so that's the base colour. So now I can go in with the darker shade and where we've got the shading on the, um, on the DSP, I'm just going to add some extra colour with the darker colour. And Stampin' Up! have made this really easy on this DSP. Okay, so I can come in there. Add some darker colour quite quickly. Okay, let's go back over that bit a bit. Obviously, I'm trying to do this quite speedily, but you can take more time. Okay, bring the darker colour in. You can hear Dolly, I'm really sorry, it's because I've shut them in the kitchen. She's now sulking. They can hear me. And she really does not like being away from me. Okay, so so you can go in and add as much or as, as little as you like, okay? I'm then going to take my light colour again and I'm going to blend this all in just by going completely over it. with my lighter colour, okay? And that gives you your, that gives you your lovely contrast and it will really begin to show as the ink evaporates, okay? So now I, I want to focal some green around this area. So I'm gonna pick the leaves, making sure I've got the light one of my jade that are kind of in this area. Okay, I've picked up the lighter one. No, I've picked up the darker one. What have I got? I've got, oh, I've got two darks. That's not very helpful, is it? Right, hang on. So we've got a very dark leaf there now. Right, I'm going to have to blend one of these out. It helps if we pick up two the same, really, doesn't it? Right, so I'm going to use my um, colour lifter and I'm going to take some colour out of this one. Okay, you can see how it's lifting the colour out, okay? So I've still got the different shading. Right, again, different leaf. I'm going to do all of those. I like the way they come in. Okay. Then my dark one, and I'm just going to add some of the detail in with the darker one, okay? Again, Stampin' Up! have made it very easy with the shading, so you can see where you should have some dark, okay? Right. So that's the bit that I'm doing there. So I'm going to turn this round. Do I just leave it at one? I kind of quite like that. Let's do this leaf this side. Okay, I like this one here. I like it when it's off, comes off the edge of the paper. Okay, I'll tell you what, let's, I'm just, do you know what, I'm going to do that one flower I'm going to use that flower as my focal point on the front of my card. I'm just going to come in with my shading. And again, up the vein. And the nib end makes this really easy to do. Okay. Right, let's do the stamen. So I've been using the lovely Mango Melody. Let's check that I've got both man... Oh, I've got dark daffodil. Right, okay, we're doing daffodil delight on this one this time. So, with the nib end, I've literally gone in over the top. Can't see all this one. Okay. And I'm then just going to add just touches of the dark, okay? 
So you've, again, got your two tones. So I think that's all I'm doing on the front of there. What do you think? Are we in agreement with that? Hearts for more colouring or thumbs up for enough? What do we think? Can we have a vote on that? Hearts for more colour. Oh, really? More colouring. Okay. There's nothing like making a girl work for it. So which one do we want? Okay, so I'm going to point two out. So thumbs up for the bird. Or hearts for the flower. Thumbs up for the bird. Or hearts for the flower. We're pretty even at the moment. Thumbs up for the bird. Okay, right, thumbs up for the bird. Right. Okay, so we're going to do this bird. Oh, I really like the flower. We'll do those two, okay? So I'm going to use my... I'm just going to use my brush end. I'm doing both of these buds kind of joins then the other bits that's a leaf okay i think we've got part of another flower there you know okay we've got part of another flower on this dsp here so i'm just going with it now right so we've got these three here are going to be our focal point. So literally straight over the top. Okay. Not pressing very lightly at all. But the colour is definitely going down. Okay, right. So then we're going to come in with the darker colour. I'm going to use the nib this time. Okay. And I'm going to be able to add the colour. Lots of colour there. I don't know about you, but I absolutely am amazed about, about how a peony can be in such a tight, screwed up little ball when it's growing and then turn into this most gorgeous, I think they're the prettiest flower on the planet, personally. Flower. It's just, it is just stunning, right? Okay. Right, let's go back over this with the lighter one. Okay. Right. And then you can see when it dries the the difference when the alcohol evaporates. Okay, right. There's one leaf sat up here which I kind of want to just bring into this now. So we'll get this leaf. And I'll tell you what, let's do those as well. Okay, let's add the veins in the darker colour and a little bit of shading down there. And again, the shading in the darker colour and down there. Right, there you go. More colouring. Okay, right, let's pop those out of the way. And I'll pop them back up on the shelf in a minute. So that piece, okay, there's one more thing I need. Find it in my tub, grey granite. There we go. Right, so I need my dauber and my grey granite ink pad. And I'm just going to go all around the edge. Just to finish it off. Okay, let's pop that over there. Close my ink pad for a minute. Right, I'm going to grab my seal. Can't make jokes about Brian the snail anymore. So we'll have Sammy snail, seal, 
not snail, seal even. Okay. Oh, so it must be the way I work on these. Right, okay. Ah, oh, right, I'm gonna stick this one to the front of my front panel. Carefully, this is. All right, like that, and then this one into the center like that okay so that's my front panel done okay so that's our front and back panels right we've got one more piece of stamping to do on this you can do as much or as little as you like but I've got one more piece to do and I'm going to use the peony okay and I'm going to use the sentiment from um, the Forever Fern stamp set. So let's just do that. That way. Just double check. Is that, that's not very straight. It's not bad. Right. Okay. I'm going to have that kind of up there. Okay to a friend that makes me smile put the grey granite away although actually I'm going to need to edge it in a minute so let's leave that one open right I'm going to move my iPad in a minute which I'm watching my comments on because it's about to die on me so I need to just plug it in What's all going wrong this morning? Have you noticed this? Let's see if I can get this plugged in. Oh. Right, two minutes. Let's see if I can plug you in to save you dying on me. Right, there you go. Okay, we've still got video. Beautiful colours, love the flower, the combination of the bud. Thank you, Diana. Right, so we're now going to use the peony, okay? And I'm going to stamp and then stamp off because I want to just add a hint of the flower at the top, okay? In fact, I'm going around again just to bring it into that edge, okay? And that is all the stamping I am doing on this card. So I'm gonna pop those over there out the way, right? Again, I'm going to use my dauber and I'm going to edge this. Okay. And I'm going to start to stick all of these down now. Okay. Right. One. So... You'll see the difference in sizes now as I start to stick them down. Do I do that one this time? So I've got two that size. Have I lost a panel? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, by the powers of television. Where have I done, what have I done with it? I've lost a complete panel. Okay. That's, um, perhaps I need to cut two that size. I might have to cut another one in a minute. That'll be interesting. Well, I thought I had it already. I'm going to cover that up with a gem. I've got a mark on my piece of paper. Right, the secret to this is don't press too hard. If you press too hard, it doesn't want to work. And I seem to have this habit of needing to press hard. So don't press too hard. 
Right, okay, so we've got an end and we've got another end here. Okay, glue. Um, a silicone mat is really good for doing this on. And then you haven't got glue everywhere. Right, so that's my panels. I definitely seem to have one missing. Let's just glue them. So we're going to glue these to this bit. So um, the two end ones I'm not going to attach for a minute, okay? So I can put this one on and this one, okay? So those are the two I'm going to do. I'm going back to Tombow for a minute for quickness. I have to say, I, I love the tape guns, but I'm a, I'm a glue girl, really. I think everybody has their preference, and I use oodles and oodles of Tombow. That is definitely my preference, okay? So this one is going to go there in the centre of that panel, okay? This one is going to go there in the centre of this panel. All right. Right. I'm going to leave this one for a minute and I will cut one, but I want to show you how to assemble everything now because it looks really scary and it's really not. And I'm conscious of how long we are on camera and I really don't want to make this extremely long. So what the, first, the next bit you're going to do, if I stand that out of the way, is you're going to take your frame, OK, and you are going to attach all four of your cut frames. So again... your Tombow or your, or your seal or whichever glue is your favourite glue, okay? Pop them down, okay? So it is literally, this video will obviously go on my YouTube so it's not complicated, surely you can do this. It's kind of peacemaking, you kind of do each section at a time and it, it's not complicated when you work each section at a time. So everybody can do this. There's no reason you can't. Piece of thread hanging off there. Okay. You will also see that I've got little markers on my cardstock, which I'll rub off in a minute. But I did measure roughly in pencil on my cardstock where to put my frames. It did help. OK, right. So we've got that far. OK, so the next bit to do is to attach this bit. OK, so you thread it through here to the middle. OK, like that. You're then going to add tear tape, two pieces. Let's see if you can see this. Right to the edge, one, two. And this is a really good guide, okay? So I'm gonna turn it round and do the other end. Two pieces of tear tape right to the edge. One. You're all very quiet on the comments, so I know you're all concentrating. Two. Okay? So that's your tear tape. Pokey tool. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to take my tear tape off this end. Take the cover off anyway, not the tape. Hang on. Okay, right. I'm just going to thread this one behind here. OK, so I've got this last frame and I'm going to bring it so that it's there. OK, so if you fold it down, you want your edge to be the two tape widths in, but you don't want it to go right to the edge of this piece. OK, so it's like that. So centre it, just making sure I've got no tape outside. Okay, 
and pop it down like that. All right. But actually, do you know what that can? If I can peel it off without ripping my frame, oops, can go up slightly more. So if you leave about a quarter of an inch gap at the top, you will be perfect that side. Okay. So let's turn it round. We're going to do the other end. So feed this through, turn this over. Okay. And you're going to need to concertina this slightly now. Okay. So let's pull that all up that way. And we're going to stick it to there, to this end frame. Okay. So again, let's take my tear tape off. Okay, leave about, so kind of make sure it's level either edge, leave your gap, okay, and stick it down. So then when you pick it up, you've got that, okay? My brain's exploded with concentration, that's quiet, okay? So that's how you do this, all right? Like that, okay? So we can now stick our side panels on, okay? I'm gonna stick those on this way round. So I'm going to have this one here. center that and pop that one there okay bring this one to this end this is why I said don't stick your panels on before because I wanted you to stick this end okay I'm gonna pop that one there like that let's get my gems because I'm gonna add a few sparklies I've got a dirty mark there as well so I want to get rid of it right so let's add some sparklies add that one there I think on that one I'm not going to put any on there and I might put um, just a couple of pink ones on this end just one actually I'm going to leave one on that end okay <clears throat> so I've got some sparklies inside so now we're going to do the front okay <clears throat> and our ribbon so the front and the ribbon is the next piece so let me grab my ribbon And I kind of want the length of the card plus extra to tie. Okay. Right, so that's out the way. Okay. And the next thing you're going to need is oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles and oodles of dimensionals. Okay. So we're going to turn our card over, all right, and we're going to put our dimensionals around on this side, so on both ends, okay? So bear in mind that you've got a border, so you don't want them to show, but also you want to keep them in the middle so you've got a track for your ribbon, okay? So I'm keeping them quite close to the edge. I don't want them to show, but I've created a track for my ribbon, as you can see. Okay, I'll just have one more there. One, two, three at the bottom. One, two, th three at the bottom. Okay, just pop that one back there. Right, my making sure I've got this up the right way. So, this is my front. So, I'm going to attach my front panel that way <clears throat> so I'm going to take off they're all gone and <clears throat> a nice pile right I'm going to lay my ribbon 
through my track before I put anything else on, okay? Don't want it sticking on the track, I just need it through the track. Now I'm going to lay my card front down, centre it, and pop it onto there, okay? So then we're going to go to the back, that was my ruler on the floor, and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So with my dimensionals, just lay my track, my ribbon down, okay? So I've got one there. And one there. And I have one there. And one there. So I know I've got my track. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm happy with those ones a minute. Come in slightly. Okay. Right, so let's take the tops off all of these. Oops. Okay. Make sure my ribbon is not twisted because that would be awful. It's nothing like twisted ribbon. And then lay your, your back onto your card and fix it, okay? So you can see your ribbon is floating and you can pick it up, bring your ribbon through and tie it into a bow or open your card right out like that. Okay, I just need to rub my bits off and then it's all neat and tidy and it's ready to send in the post. And that, my lovely friends, is how you make a floating accordion card. And that will be on my blog next week with a complete... Actually, Linda, it's really quick and quite easy. And that is how you make a floating accordion card, okay? So there you go. So, what do you think? Oh, hang on, let's go that way. Did you love it? What do you think? I absolutely, absolutely loved that card. Really, really, and I've really enjoyed making it, actually. It was brilliant. Um, yeah, um, so there will be, as I said, full instructions on the blog. Um, I've simplified it because um, the American demos have been making it, but they've been making it with 12 by 12 papers. And I don't know about you guys, but I don't use 12 by 12 a lot. Um, I if I'm going to buy it, I want to buy it in um, a large pack and I don't want to buy the mixed pack. So um, I've simplified this so we can get it out of normal A4 cardstock. So I've changed my measurements. So I will write all of this on. So for UK demonstrators and UK customers who are um, using the normal size A4 or even international um, people who want to make this, as you know, A4 or letter paper, which you get, you will be able to get this out of. You won't need to do 12 by 12. Um, so that's why I've changed the measurements. So I hope you've loved it. And as I said, it will go on my blog. Um, and um, yeah, I've really enjoyed making it. I've enjoyed seeing you this morning. And next week we're moving on to the... Um, uh, to, I can't remember what, I know which stamp set it is, but I can't remember off the top of my head. We're going to be doing a week of a different stamp set and I'm going to be showing you how to colour with your um, many marvellous markers. So with these, okay, onto stamps. So we're going to do um, stamp to ink colouring next week. How many sheets does it take? Um, Linda, it, um, it actually, it took... Um, <coughs> two or three sheets to be honest um but what a wow card i mean let's now i'm sat like this let's i mean look how amazing is that i just think that is so so beautiful um and can you imagine when somebody opens that that they're just you know let's show you the other one as well because they're both different inside so that's the front of that one hang on and then that's the inside of that one. When somebody opens that, 
they're just going to know that you really, you know, you really care and like, you know, I just think it's beautiful. Um, you could also, you see, um, put little photographs in it if you want to put photos in it. Um, that would be really pretty. Um, you know, you could do all sorts with it. Little photos, you could make it a mini album. I just think it's really beautiful. So look out for that. It's going to be on my blog. Uh, I've got a wedding card to make. Um, I think that would be beautiful, especially in the peonies. Um, if you've, if you've, you know, got the peony set. So if any of you haven't got the peony set and you're interested and you haven't got a demonstrator, please give me a yell. Um, if you, um, are interested in buying the peony set yeah give me a yell if you haven't got a stamping up demonstrator and you'd like a catalog please give me a yell you can find all the details on my blog or there's a way to message me on facebook or you can drop me a whatsapp message um i'm always happy to hear from you and yeah i've really enjoyed being with you this morning and i will see you all again on monday at 11 on monday okay take care have a really good day tomorrow and i will see you monday morning Bye for now.